we first had the universal hearing screening that she didn't pass and then we were followed up two weeks later uh, and for a, a more in-depth screening and during that hearing screening she also failed that test and it was at that point they asked if we wanted to opt into this new pilot program we heard that she uh, had a positive uh, infection for CMV. Once we got that positive diagnosis of CMV, uh, we were told that we we're going to get a phone call with the schedule of appointments. And it was within you know, a month of birth that we had a roller coaster day of going from specialist to specialist, test to test. There was uh, valvenciclovir uh, as a treatment option to help suppress the, the, the shedding of the virus and the virus continuing to, to do damage in the body. And then uh, there was also, you know, her hearing started to go further and further to be more profound hearing loss as the, the weeks went on. And we uh, became candidates for cochlear implants. When my daughter got to hear for the first time, because she was the first patient in Ontario through this new pilot program, everyone wanted to really uh, amplify the message of how great this screening program was. And I remember when she got her cochlear implants, we would shake little containers of rice around the apartment that we were in so that she could try and localize the sound because they have to learn how to hear where sound's coming from. You know, fast forward to today, she's nearly three years old. And I, you just don't think back then that she'll ever get to this point, but she did with all the help that she got and all the hard work from, from my wife and I. The advice I give is make sure you have a, a foundation. There's a, an extreme amount of uncertainty and you just have to put all your focus for the next year of your life on on your child and and know that it's going to get better the first few appointments are going to be tough but i remember telling my wife that it's going to get better and then at the the sound on that's when that's when things change so it'll it'll come Thank you.